introducing Pressa by WA Production and Aidan Kenway. With powerful controls and an intuitive interface, this is an exclusive artist collaboration compressor plugin. Pressa allows you to effortlessly fashion the dynamic range of your audio signals while simultaneously adding characterful punch and presence. The focus is on easy operation with lots of visual feedback going way beyond the capabilities of a regular compressor. First off, a few before and after examples of Pressa in action. As we're talking about creative compression, do grab a pair of headphones or listen through decent monitors to hear some of the sometimes subtle changes. YouTube remake legend Aidan Kenway consulted on the creation of this plugin and we're excited to collaborate, bringing his signature processing chains to you, not only transforming dynamics, but also sculpting the character of audio. Whether you're looking to shape transients, add bite, or glue together an entire mix, Presser has you covered. So let's look at the features and functions. This is the completely resizable vector interface with more or less everything you need for day-to-day -day operation on the front panel. First off, there are a whole range of presets expertly designed by Aidan Kenway and the team at WA Production. These are accessible just here. or you can use the arrows to flick through them. Of course, you can also click New to save your own settings. Many of the controls on the interface will be familiar to you if you've ever played with a compressor before. Ratio, Threshold, Attack, Release, and makeup gain. These make Presser a versatile and powerful tool for shaping the dynamic range of a wide variety of different types of audio. And that's even before you get into the unique settings from Aiden Kenway. There's a mix ratio dial for introducing parallel compression. And a post output volume limiter button just here. So you don't have to use the third party limiter in your signal chain. Compression techniques are a rabbit hole we'll leave alone for now, but if you want to know more, check out the compression tutorials and courses at WA Production. So let's look at some settings unique to Presser. And bear in mind that these controls transform the sound in sometimes subtle ways, and the results will depend on the audio that you're using. The glue control changes the behavior of the compressor's detector and processor. When set to zero, Presser will act as a fast peak compressor, taming transients. At 100%, the compression model will behave like a classic bus compressor, providing more sustained changes and a smoother sound. 
Use the punch dial to introduce transient punch using a built-in dynamic equalizer. Kicks, snares, bass lines and more can be made snappier and tighter with this control. Heat adds analog style saturation both pre and post compressor, introducing harmonics and sonic artifacts. Channel link allows you to choose whether the stereo channels will be processed independently or together. High pass controls the frequency of a high pass filter for detection. This helps to reduce the unwanted pumping effect of more delicate compression settings. It's a common technique to sidechain a compressor to a different audio trigger, as in the case with these keys, sidechain to the kick. With presser, there's a special twist. The variable control can be set to any level between 0, normal compression, and 100, sidechain input only. And this makes for some creative sidechain possibilities. It's easy to see what's going on with the signal chain using these 5 meters. A couple of last things to mention, the redo and undo settings here, along with A, B, copy just here, make it easy to audition settings and then revert if you need to. There are also a bunch of graphical and oversampling settings available if you right click on the main part of the interface. With the expertise of Aidan Kenway behind it, Presser is sure to become your go-to everyday compressor that can also add creative flair to your audio. Thanks for watching.